Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out how you can upgrade your ASUS VivoBook S513e or what you actually can upgrade on it and of course we're gonna have a closer look on the components and you're gonna see how you can open up this little machine as well. First things first, you need a little uh, standard Phillips screwdriver like I have there. If you don't have one, I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you go and purchase yourself one. It's a great one, it comes with 57 different bits so it's gonna be useful in some other situations as well. And when you're removing screws now from this laptop, uh, some of them are different lengths, so keep them separate and you remember where you took them out, so you uh, just, uh, just that you won't damage your laptop when you start putting them back in. Okay, once the screws are removed, uh, you lift off the back panel, it does come off relatively easy, it took me less than 30 seconds to get it off from there. Same time though, take care. It is plastic, it will break if you put too much force on it. There we go, there's a bit of detail now on the back panel, as you see model S513e. Nice little laptop, I have to say. There's a cl closer look now inside of the panel as well, just in case you're looking for a similar one, you need one. So there's just some reference here. That's your battery. That's your CPU fan. In a minute, we're gonna have a closer look on the components as well. That's your CPU under that there. That's I Core i5 uh, 11th generation. That's Wi-Fi card. That's your RAM, single RAM slot. That's only, this laptop has only one RAM slot. That's your M2 solid state drive. At the moment, there's 512 gigs on it. There's a bit of a spec now, 16 gigs in total at the moment before the upgrade. So there's one RAM slot, there is 8 gigs on the board, and one free. So there's a closer look now on the battery. If you're looking for a battery, there's a, your model number, serial number on it. So. There's your battery connection. We're gonna disconnect that before any upgrading. So that's your Wi-Fi card. That's your CPU fan again. And CPU itself. You won't see it much there. That's your RAM slot. As I said, single RAM slot. There's eight gigs on the board, soldered and plus this RAM slot, so at the moment there's 16 gigs, and that's your M2 solid state drive. Seems to be space for 2.5 inch solid state drive or hard drive as well, but I don't think there's connection to motherboard from that, so unusable. Okay, that's your connection to battery. To disconnect bat battery, you have to kind of push back that little metal clip there, and just, uh, yeah, remove the connection to battery just for safety first thing we're gonna upgrade the ram at the moment there's eight gig stick in it so eight gig plus eight gig on the board makes 16 so there's 16 gigs at the moment i'm gonna upgrade that eight gig stick to 16 gigs so after that's gonna be 24 gigabyte of ddr4 ram of course one thing now i don't have uh, same speed ram i'm gonna have lower uh, speed ram so that's it that's 16 gigs now just it's not as fast as the other ram stick was I'm gonna leave the link in the description, of course, for faster RAM as well, which will be compatible, so... I didn't test anymore, that's the 16 plus 8, so 24 gigs, this laptop, and it's guaranteed to be working. Next thing, we're gonna upgrade M2 Solid State Drive. There's one screw holding it in space, uh, in place, so just remove that screw, you see the little, little one. Keep it separate as well, so... And gently yeah, pull it out there. That's 
that's it now at the moment as i said earlier there's 512 gigs on it that's intel solid state drive m2 the great drives actually only reason i'm operating this to get a bit more space that's all it's actually good fast drive this one And what I'm gonna install now is gonna be Samsung, one terabyte. I'm gonna leave the link in description so you can go and purchase yourself one. It is guaranteed to be working with this laptop. Later on, I'm gonna boot into Windows and you're gonna see the new specs of this one as well. So you know I'm not fooling anyone here. That's it now, that's how it looks. 9 cent, 9, 970 EVO Plus, 1 terabyte. Great drives, pretty cheap as well at the moment anyway. I used them many, many, many times before, so can recommend them. And same thing, slide that into that little, uh, little thingy and install the drive back. And of course, screw as well, don't forget that. And once the upgrading is done, uh, do not forget to connect your battery back again. And made that mistake myself many times in the past. Got excited, connected everything, put the solid state tray back, RAM back, but forgot to connect the battery. So I had to open it up again and it's just a mess. And extra time of, of course as well. So just connect the battery again and then close the back panel. There we go, upgrading is done. So great, great news with, news with this laptop anyway, upgradable, so great. That's a great thing these days anyway. So uh, when you're putting back your back panel, just uh, put a bit of pressure on it. You can hear the little clips and that's it. You can put the screws back in and to remember where they came out from. So if it's long one, put it back where it came from. The short ones go where the short go, because you're gonna damage the laptop otherwise. In a few few seconds now, we're gonna put into Windows, and you're gonna see the actual specs of it as well. So, that's it. Now, all the upgrading done. We can go and uh, boot up to Windows, and uh, we go just uh, just a short kind of a preview of the specs. So there you go. That's your ASUS VivoBook. And as you see, it's Core i5 11th generation, 24 gigs of total RAM, great. Should be enough for really anything. And uh, just, yeah, there we are. That's your C drive now, one terabyte. I'm gonna go to device manager now as well. So you're gonna see a few other specs there as well. And I hope this video was helpful for whoever is looking what can you upgrade, what can you not upgrade, how you can open, etc. So if you like the video, if you're happy with it, press the thumbs up, subscribe and uh, most of all, have a great life. Bye bye.